I have an important update about Toyota electric vehicle battery program. Toyota doubles down its EV battery efforts to speed up electric vehicle breakthroughs. Is Toyota trying to make up for lost time? We're going to talk about that. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily electric vehicle news and sharing social media. Give us thumbs up, please. Toyota had created a US-based collaborative of leading labs and universities to drive electric vehicle battery technology forward. Yesterday, Toyota doubled it down. Toyota Research Institute, known as TRI, announced yesterday that it is injecting $36 million more into its Accelerated Materials Design and Discovery Collaborative, AMDD's mandate is to leverage AI to find new materials for emissions-free mobility. Basically, Toyota is adding $36 million more to its AMDD, which is Accelerated Material Design and Discovery Collaborative, to find um, artificial intelligence, uh, uh, is, which is a mandate to, alter, uh, to leverage the artificial intelligence to find new materials for emissions-free mobility. Here's what Toyota said. Our focus on collaboration is what makes our research program unique. Rather than act strictly as a funding source TRI has formed deep collaborations with researchers which have led to joint publications as well as uh, co-developed uh, open source data and software said Brian Story director of TRI's AMDD program this collaborative approach is critical to accelerate the development of new materials for battery and fuel cell vehicles as no single entity can do this alone. Far from being alone, the collaborative includes nearly every leading edge EV battery development entity in the United States, uh, explains John Gorham, our Toyota uh, reporter from Talk News, and he says this list includes the following. California Institute of Technology, Carnegie Mellon University, Cornell University, Fraunhofer Institute for Solar Energy Systems, Georgia Institute of Technology, Lawrence Bartley National Laboratory, Laboratory, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, Northwestern University, Slack National Accelerator Lab, Stanford University, University of Michigan. So they're all together working to find new ways of batteries and Toyota is supporting this and it's, it's collaborative research. To date, John Gorham explains from Torque News, the research program has led to multiple open source software packages and some of the largest open data sets for batteries. Moving forward, TRI says it will focus more strongly on creating new research tools, methodologies, and capabilities to accelerate the commercialization of these advanced materials. We're working with TRI to bring together polymers synthesis, rapid robotic experiments, molecular simulations, and AI to establish new design rules for polymers, said MIT professor Yang Shao Horn. Working with TRI has enabled us to bring together several different disciplines within MIT for a common mission of designing materials for next generation batteries. We are eager and excited to work with the world-class TRI team to explore how machine learning can be used with high-quality big data sets to explore the material's genome as it pertains to catalyst development. We are on a, the cusp of something big, said Professor Chad Mikrin from Northwestern Universities. This news is not unrelated to Toyota's most recent update on its plan to emphasize the launch of battery electric vehicles in the coming details. If you remember, that was Toyota's new plan, uh, which had some EV advocates rolling their eyes. Toyota learned the meaning of uncontrollable factors, that was a quote, in business uh, that week, which was, uh, I think it, it was May 12, the week of May 12. He, uh, Toyota learned the meaning of what it means to have uncontrollable factors in the business. The results of that lesson was that Toyota is now announcing again its commitment to electrified vehicles and yes battery electric vehicles are a big part of the uh, of Toyota's newest announcement. Now what are those uncontrollable factors? 
in business and particularly marketing, uncontrollable factors are business environment changes that a company cannot stand in the way of or change to its liking. The marketing of dummies class example of uncontrollable factors are often the buggy whip. When horseless carriages emerged in the early part of 2020, in the early part of the 20th century, the folks who made the whips to hit horses pulling cars saw a drastic decline in business the shift away from internal combustion and to battery electric vehicles is a perfect model example. Toyota's hybrids are the next buggy whip. Now, although Toyota has the greenest vehicle models and sales, in most vehicle segments, in all of the markets in which it chooses to dominate, it's not enough. Policymakers are moving toward battery electric vehicles and the automakers will follow. Lawmakers, a meaningful number of whom live in cities and don't drive themselves anywhere, don't have an emotional attachment to private transportation and their adv advisors, counting the heads of the vocal populace, they represent, understand the battery electric vehicles or bust going forward with public policy. Toyota announced on May 12th that for over 30 years, Toyota has been innovating and investing in technology to reduce vehicle emissions and active carbon reduction, said Chris Reynolds, chief Admi uh, administrative officer of Toyota Motor North America. And although some people believe concentrating resources on one possible solution will achieve the goal more quickly, we believe investing in many different solutions will actually be a faster way to achieve carbon neutrality around the world. Uh, we highlight highlighted some, um, uh, we highlighted some people. Now, Toyota could not resist including hydrogen power fuel cell vehicles in its announcement. Those battery electric vehicle advocates who rolled their eyes at the announcement, who also read the details, can now smack their foreheads saying, well, FC EVs are the EV that even pro EV people don't want. Toyota's shift in thinking is still evolving given the company some time to explain, uh, actually give the company some time to explain uh, why its billion dollar bet on hydrogen isn't going to work. So what's in Toyota's plan? Here is what Toyota laid out as its plan and timeline. First, battery electric vehicles and fuel cell electric vehicles will make up to 15% of US sales by 2030. Second, Electrified vehicles, including battery electric vehicles, will make up to 70% of U.S. sales by 2030. I mean, Toyota's U.S. sales, of course. And third, global sales of approximately 8 million Toyota electrified vehicles by 2030, of which 2 million will be battery electric vehicles and FC EVs. Also, please see, um, uh, you can see that... Um, uh, uh, actually, what does this mean for top sellers like RAV4 Hybrid and RAV4 Prime? Enjoy the short twilight of plug-in hybrids with 600 mile ranges and 40 miles per gallon and 50 miles per gallon gas electric hybrids without plugs. This rider, John, suspects strongly that the taxpayer funded price supports that nearly all car makers and buyers will soon rely upon uh, re rely upon uh, won't include uh, uh, plug-in hybrids like the RAV4 Prime and already does include 40 miles per gallon crossovers like the RAV4 Hybrid. Toyota will continue to trickle them forth since they are already designed and selling well today. Toyota tried battery electric vehicle before the modern wave we think of today. How long ago was it? The song Candle in the Wind was the top of hit of that year. Sort of appropriate. A handful of Toyota's first generation and later second generation battery electric vehicles are still on the road. There are Facebook clubs you can join to interact with owners of first and second generation RAV4 battery electric crossovers. Toyota also presently sells its second generation Mirai fuel cell electric vehicle in limited markets to the tiny handful of people that live nearly any place um, uh, to fuel it. So that's some good news from Toyota. It's good that Toyota bolsters battery development dream team to speed electric vehicle breakthroughs. Let me know, friends, what do you think about this? You know that I have reported earlier based on Nikkei Asia reports in December 2020 that Toyota was very actively working on solid state batteries and that Toyota was going to unveil a vehicle with solid state batteries this year. Although since then there has been 
no news about that so we don't know where it's going but toyota is also known for not uh, leaking information and we normally know about toyota's new breakthroughs when they are unveiled so we'll see where it goes but uh, i don't know how close they are when it comes to solid state batteries this is armin harian from torquenews.com let me know your thoughts in the comment section below please share this in social media please and also uh, like this video if you found the information helpful and subscribe to our channel for daily electric vehicle news and discussions have a great day i'll see you soon in our next report god bless you everyone